Okay, so uh, the, the second interview this evening is with, uh, with Slava and, of course, the Phantoms have lost in the quarterfinals. Slava, that, that, that's a tough defeat, three up with seven to go. Uh, I think the lads put, left it all on the ice. I, I think you see the disappointment when they're all in the handshakes afterwards. The, you know, they, they, they left it out there. I don't think anyone can question any effort from any of the guys at all. I think you kind of answered your question. Everybody left everything out yeah. there and going to, into, into the matchup, we always knew it's going to be 50 50 based on what we have available and uh, we prepared well. Um, but the most important thing is to look at an overall picture, not to, not to get uh, carried away on one game. And uh, like I told the guys in the room, you know, they achieved a lot this year uh, in a normal, you know, 40 regulation wins. And every point return in the league, uh, 70 something percent, that gives you a championship and another banner on the wall. Uh, this has been a magnificent season and Leeds pushed everyone. And obviously, uh, nobody expected us to be with that park and we stuck at it. And uh, to get 40 wins in regulation, it's, 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 it's good. You know, it's just the disappointment. The, the two, two teams or one of them uh, had an even bigger return. And then you have to look at the cup, you have to go through semi-final against MK, mm. uh, you have to go through final against Leeds, and even with a full team, you're always going to say that we are probably outsiders in the semi-final and the final. Uh, against all the odds, we, we get through to the final, and, and then finally it was just... <laughs> it was just you can't, you, nobody could have written this, you know. Uh, you, that that you, first leg, possibly the most complete performance under yourself here. It, it was. It was. Yeah, you cannot. Uh, we we prepared really well. I think that nine three loss against Leeds two weeks previously yeah. really shook us up. Uh, we were going through certain things in a lot, in the previous couple of months and. Uh, and for me as a coach, that was the biggest breakdown of their position to try to make sure guys have a chance. But uh, it's the guys who have to do the job and they they turn up into that game. And like I said, no, no, no disrespect to Leeds because they are by far the best team in the league with the best offense and the best goalie. But to win 6-0 and knowing you disappointed only with six because it should have been eight or nine. And then... Less than 24 hours, euphoria, euphoria just drops. Mazi gets injured. We know Ryan's not available, and and from then on, you, yeah, you you have battles. You have battles with the league. You have battles with uh, making sure we can get that game over the line against all the odds. Obviously, Mazi was a huge part of getting us to the final. Uh, one nil away win in MK. Uh, three goals only conceded in the second leg, and another shootout against Leeds. In three, biggest game of the season, he gets two shootouts and three and three goals only conceded over three games. He, we have to understand that that a lot of it goes down to Mazi. And then uh, last game, the character of the players and everything that's been done leading up to that final uh, second leg, he was. Oof, he, I never seen this before. You got guys like. I know I'm gonna single one person out, but Duncan, you can't. You can't. Uh, that's not normal. That's not normal to play through a broken uh, finger in the semi-final, both legs by uh, by by blocking short, and then just recover, and then have a clean break on two fingers. And on Tuesday, four days, three days before the final, I come to his house and we sit down, we have a chat, and we give him. We kind of talked about three options, and they take the third one and. How, 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 and then and then block 10, 11 shots and and, and block the, the big one right at the end when 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 it's needed to be, before we got obviously the empty net goal. It's it's the whole of the team, it's the character. And I told the boys in the dressing room, I said, of course it is disappointment today, but you have to look in the bigger picture. You have to reflect not today. You have to reflect Monday, Tuesday, or whenever the that feeling goes away. You have to look at the bigger picture and reflect on the whole of the season and. It's been it's been really really good and I'm you know I'm proud of my players I'm really proud of the fans because uh, we we had some really really good games we had some bad games and they stuck at us uh, they you know the the home record 
it's lower than the away record winning wise during the season so he, he, and they still supported us all the way through and even tonight so a lot of credit goes to the whole of the organization top to bottom directors everybody who works for the club the staff of ice and and obviously the players mm. uh, uh, obviously uh, the Phantoms organization will congratulate the Raiders this evening they, they've taken the, the victory but what I've said to Will earlier tonight is uh, if you look at the banner on the wall that was unveiled by Robbie and Jimmy Ferrara tonight and you look at the number of trophies that teams win in a, in a course of history they aren't that many and, and it's important for that group of players in that room to understand that they've, they've lifted silverware there's a, a terrific lead side that have taken a trophy already they may get a, a, another one but I think uh, that, uh, that that great first half of the season in the league and the momentum into the cup was, was, was so good that he took the trophy. Uh, disappointment tonight, uh, it was always going to be difficult. I, I left after doing interviews last Sunday thinking that tonight, would, whichever way the away leg had gone, it was going to be really hard tonight and, uh, and, it, and, it, and it was, it was, it was, it was tough. Frustration that we, we don't make Coventry, um, but I think we, we need to congratulate the team and yourself on, a, on what has been a successful season. I think you're right. First, we need to congratulate uh, Rome for the organisation, the players and, uh, and their fans. They obviously turned out in numbers today. There was a huge belief uh, in that dressing room. Uh, obviously, knowing how we played against them during the season and reviewing them last month's performances building up to these uh, playoffs, I told the guys they definitely a lot them they improved a lot the structure mm. changed they you know Aaron uh, Aaron Connolly obviously the captain and he's been in some really really big championship games and he brought that experience I I, I honestly I even told him when I shook his hand I said uh, why did you not do this earlier because because that they they have never die attitude mm. they had structure uh, they had belief and they will keep going at it and it's only happened recently, isn't it? You look at them before Christmas in a certain situation, it wasn't there. So huge credit to them, you know, and good luck to them in, in, in Coventry on Saturday and hopefully, hopefully Sunday. Uh, so, and from our point of view, it's for me, it's, it, it's difficult to stand here and say I'm not disappointed, but I sometimes make my decisions based on feelings and at the moment I'm not disappointed and I don't know what people are going to think when they're going to listen or watch this interview mm. I'm not disappointed because I look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture it's, it's, it's what the guys did in that room I don't have to repeat again oh. what they did stepping on the ice and uh, yeah when the dust is settled I will review the video I will I will identify what could have done maybe better individually and collectively, but overall I have a really good feeling inside because one game didn't make us to Coventry. Of course, like fans and everyone is disappointed, but the magnificent season, season that we produce for the fans and the players in the room cannot be taken away. Thank you for joining us. Wise words, and I'll see you next time around. Thank you. Cheers.